Welcome to Watch Therefore, the program designed to help the disciple of Messiah Jesus obey His command to watch therefore and be ready, for you don't know the hour or the day your Lord is coming. Dove Schwartz here at the Sea of Galilee, encouraging everyone who's watching more than ever to watch therefore and be ready. Jerusalem's Zion's king will restore the land, the clouds will part, and our king will descend the fire in his eyes, seven stars, his right hand. So thankful to be with you once again on the program watch therefore frequently according to the word of god i share how important it is to think right about israel and and to bless israel and i've learned one of the best ways to bless israel is to bless israeli believers in messiah jesus that's how, that's why we have the ministry blessing israeli believers and and we partner with israeli born-again disciples of Messiah Jesus who are getting out the gospel, making disciples, helping Holocaust survivors in the name of Messiah Jesus, and saving babies from abortion. And also one of the things we do is come alongside precious born-again Israeli families who are in need of a little help. And you're going to meet such a family in the first segment of our program today. But first, a word of prayer. Oh, Holy Father, in Messiah Jesus' name, our great God and Savior, please bless every viewer today and tremendously, tremendously touch their lives and help us to watch therefore and be ready. Thank you, Father, in Messiah Jesus' name. Amen and amen. So now I trust you're going to enjoy and be touched by this special interview. So thankful to be at the home of special friends here in Israel and you're going to meet Helen Segui today. Helen, so thankful you're with us on the program Watch Therefore. Thanks for having me, Dob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Helen's husband was one of the first people to really help me logistically get acclimated to Israel. You know, just detailed, nuanced things that were just difficult for me. You leave America and you have all these things you have to do in a new country. And so Eldad, Helen's husband, was so helpful and we had the opportunity to help Eldad and his family. Um, and, and some of you watching maybe even were some of those who helped. Uh, it's just a blessing to be with the Sagis. And Helen, you have some things to share with our viewers today. And it's just a real opportunity to hear from you today. So go ahead and share what's on your heart and some of the things that are going on with you guys right now. Okay, well, Dov, I think I'll go back to 2014 when uh, I'll hold, this whole thing kind of started with Eldad and his uh, health condition. So, as you know, he came back from Africa mm -hmm. and he'd contracted a virus that attacked his peripheral nervous system. It's called guillain barr isn't it? That's correct. Right. And uh, he suffers from extreme nerve damage, which causes extreme pain throughout his body. Mm -hmm. um, and there isn't really a precise treatment that can... Uh, treat him or cure that condition. So mm -hmm. Aldez just had to learn to really manage the pain. Yeah. Um, we've tried various treatments that haven't been effective, but he's still just, you know, functioning and, and getting on with his life. Um, but unfortunately, he couldn't go back to his profession. And so in uh, about 2015, 2016, some friends of ours encouraged us or encouraged Delda that he should start looking for a new job or looking for a different kind of profession. But due mm -hmm. to his lack of movement and lack of, um, what should I say, pain-free lifestyle, you know, he was so limited in what he could do. And sure. as I said, couldn't go back to his former profession, which was very physical. Um, so we actually had a crazy idea and we shared this idea with our friends and they said that we should enter a business plan competition. So we decided we would enter the First Fruits Business Plan Competition. Now this is for Messianic believers is, all over Israel, is that right? That's right, it's for Messianic believers and First Fruits is a Messianic um, organization. Mm -hmm. And so we entered the competition, we wrote up a business plan, we presented our product and 
we actually won the competition. Remember. And yeah, and so we, we got a fantastic cash prize of $6,000. We invested that into starting our company and we named our company Lily Pops after our daughter Lily. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Right. And uh, so we slowly. I've met her, she's a sweetie. Thank you. Go ahead. So we, we um, slowly built up our company, um, you know, starting kind of at the end of 2016. And um, going into 2017, Eldad's health really deteriorated. So we took a step back from actually building up our company and just started focusing on. Um, Eldad's health. And again, we started various treatments. Uh, nothing really seemed to work. Um, but we just felt, you know, we had to continue with our business, you know, to provide for our family. Mm -hmm. um, it was, it's, you know, it's been a tremendous struggle along the way. We've, we've had to take on loans, business investors, but praise the Lord, he really, you know, just provided everything that we needed. Yes, I mean, we've reached you. out to you guys and you know, you've helped us numerous times over the years, which has been such a blessing to our family. And a blessing for us too. And um, yeah. I don't know what we would have done without you guys, Dov, really. Thank you, um, Thank you, Lord. And uh, so then actually at the beginning of 2020, we finally received all our um, certifications and our um, health food license and our kosher food license that all these things are required to actually, mm -hmm. um, you know, have a facility here in Israel. Right. And so we, we got all of these requirements. And this was at the beginning of 2020, I would say in February 2020. And then, as you know, um, the world was struck with coronavirus in March 2020, and our plan was to actually break into the Israeli market in March 2020. But because of the coronavirus, you know, Israel went into extreme lockdown. Extreme lockdown. Don't leave your house for more than 100 meters at different times and stuff like that. Right. So through the whole of 2020, we struggled to try and get our product into the Israeli food market. But by the end of, you know, the end of the summer, we still weren't in the you know, our product, which is a, a fruit popsicle, we weren't able to get it into the grocery stores, the health food stores. So that really delayed us. And of course we, you know, lost money because we weren't making money. Right. Our product wasn't out there for sale. So that was very difficult for us. And we tried to actually, um, we, we tried an online, you know, like a web, um, we set up a website hoping that people would order Lily Pops mm -hmm. online, but that didn't work because, you know, it's an, an impulse buy. You go to the grocery store and you want a, you want a popsicle or, a, or an ice cream right. straight away. and with a online business, you know, if you order a popsicle, you know, if you're in Jerusalem, you're not going to get your popsicle in 20 minutes like you do a pizza. Mm -hmm. So it was difficult to try and figure out how to get our product, you know, into the Israeli food market. Um, and then during 2021, we struggled even more. There were again, extreme lockdowns. The world is still suffering with coronavirus. Right. Millions of businesses in Israel have closed down because of coronavirus. Sure. But we really just said, we're going to struggle through this, we're gonna overcome this and try and get our business up and running. But unfortunately, we're finding ourselves in the position right now that we are closing down. So Lily Pops is sure. officially closing down and we are losing, I guess, everything that we've worked so hard to set up in the past five years. Sure. And it's, it's, it's been a very sad and difficult experience, but um, we feel that the Lord has just really given us the peace to walk away from this now. And um, I think one of the verses that the Lord has put on my heart is, um, if I could just, could I read that? Please is, do. is that okay? Please I, do. Okay. Yes. So it's um, Numbers 6, verse 24 to 26, and it says, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. So unfortunately, we're shutting down. We're shutting down the facility. We're closing our business, Lily Pops. And our whole family just came out of coronavirus. The, the seven of us had coronavirus, even my 10 month old baby. And Eldad had coronavirus and it's completely affected his health condition. So his health has really deteriorated. He's in way more pain and he just isn't able to function. So, you know, we're just so unsure on our future, but we just, you know, we're crying out to the Lord and he just put on our hearts to contact blessing Israeli believers. And we just, we praise him for you guys and that you're here in Israel and that you do what you do and that you have amazing supporters that reach out and bless Israelis like our family that they've helped so many times in the past. So we just, we're so grateful and Dov, thank you for, for everything. Like you said, glory to our savior, Messiah Yeshua. We get to participate in his river of life and his compassion and mercy upon us, right? And so there's a verse I wanna share with our viewers. It's Galatians 6.10. Therefore, as we have opportunity let us do good to all, especially to those who are of the household of faith. And so, Helen, um, like I said, I remember how, 
how much Eldad helped us when we first got here. And, and, and truly, you're one of the reasons blessing Israeli believers exists, right? So we have this opportunity to do what the Bible says and to reach out to you again. And I just want to encourage everyone who's watching, as the Lord puts the sagis on your heart, respond to him prayerfully and financially or prayerfully or financially, however the Lord moves on your heart. But we're going to help these precious ones, and it's our opportunity to do so. So, Helen, thank you for giving us this opportunity. Thank you, Dov. I really appreciate you being here. Oh, praise the, so Lord. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. So, everyone, there you go. Here's your opportunity. And, and remember, um, one of the best ways to bless Israel, for those of you who know that you should do that, one of the best ways to bless Israel is to bless Israeli believers in Messiah Yeshua. Well, I'm going to pray for your family right now. All of us, let's just join together and thank the Lord and ask the Lord, okay? So, Holy Father in heaven, in Messiah Yeshua's name, we thank you. Thank you for this opportunity to bless this precious family. Thank you that we're here with them today. And, and thank you, Father, in Messiah Yeshua's name, that you bless those who bless Israel and one of the best ways to bless Israel is to bless Israeli believers in Messiah Yeshua. So now we ask you, Father, to fill the Sagi's basket and give them the, your plan. In Messiah Yeshua's name, amen and amen. Helen, thank you once again. Thanks so much, Dov. Thanks for having me. We're, you're welcome, and we're rejoicing in what the Lord's about to do. Amen. Amen. This Watch Therefore television program and message is going into 200 million homes in 200 countries. Oh, hallelujah. As the Lord is using this as a tool to help make disciples who will hear from Him one day very soon, well done, thy good and faithful servant. This message stirs the lukewarm to repent and seek after the Lord with a whole heart. It also ties perfectly with the gospel as many see the desperate need for a savior in these waning hours of this prophetic generation. Remember to watch therefore and be ready. Along with our Watch Therefore television program, we have our ministries blessing Israeli believers and poured out for the nations, like Romans 1.16 says, to the Jew first and then to the nations. Our co-founding partner of Blessing Israeli Believers, John McTurnan, and myself, we co-founded the ministry as we partner with Israeli believers in Messiah Jesus who are getting out the gospel, making disciples, saving babies from abortion, helping Holocaust survivors, and so much more. And then our To the Nations ministry poured out for the nations, where we go to many countries in Africa and other places as well getting out the gospel, preaching the Watch Therefore message, seeing many saved, helping orphans and widows as well. Oh, what incredible opportunities we have through blessing Israeli believers and poured out for the nations. What a way to watch therefore and be ready when our Savior comes for us in the clouds. A great way to get acquainted and stay close to our ministry is through our monthly free newsletters. You can receive your Blessing Israeli Believers and Poured Out for the Nation's newsletter by post or by email. Uh, we have updates about what's going on in the ministry along with important devotionals that will help you to watch therefore and be ready. Go to our website, watchtherefore.tv and sign up for our Blessing Israeli Believers and Poured Out for the Nation's monthly newsletters. Along with prayer, there are those who would like to financially partner with our ministry. First, let me say this. If you've not yet received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, please do not send any money into this ministry. It's our desire that you would be our guest and even pray to receive Jesus as your Savior and Lord today. For those who would like to financially partner with the ministry, there's three primary ways to do so. You can give to our Watch Therefore television program, our ministry Blessing Israeli Believers, or poured out for the nations. You can do so by post or online. There's information there on the screen. What a great way to lay your treasures up in heaven and to watch therefore and be ready. Welcome back to this episode of the program, Watch Therefore. And I'm announcing today that I'm coming to Texas for a Watch Therefore conference. And the theme is covenant and Bible prophecy, keys to victorious living 
in this fig tree generation and these days of Noah. The dates are November 5 and 6, and then November 7, the Sunday service for Calvary Chapel Pearland that is meeting at Heights Baptist Church, and that's where this conference is going to be, Heights Baptist Church in Alvin, Texas, just south of Houston. So I'll be visiting from Israel to share the urgency of understanding the Lord's covenants and Bible prophecy. It's so urgent that we understand how the Lord's covenants are working together with Bible prophecy right now, today. His covenants are His promises that He will keep through the events we're seeing all around us and will continue to see the events of Bible prophecy. Tragically, most disciples of Messiah Jesus, they don't realize the urgency to understand these holy matters and the danger associated with ignorance of them. Join us November 5 through 7 and walk out of this holy and special weekend as the overcomers King Jesus has called us to be. Now I'm going to share with you some of the highlights and the things I'll be teaching uh, at the conference. And I'm going to even share some Bible passages regarding covenant because, yes, there is a great ignorance of the seriousness and, and, and some of the details associated with covenant that are so important for us to know today. And I'm even going to share in this conference where that problem started and why it's still with us today. So uh, on the Friday evening, we're just going to have one session, and I'm going to share the Abraham, Moses, and David and new covenants. Now look at Psalm 111. He has made his wonderful works to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion. He has given food to those who fear him. He will ever be mindful of what? His covenant. Psalm 111, further down in the chapter. He has sent redemption to his people. He has commanded his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. And I'm going to share another one with you that just came to mind from Romans 11, verses 25 through 27. For I do not desire, brethren, that you should be ignorant of this mystery, lest you should be wise in your own opinion, that blindness in part has happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles has come in. And so all Israel will be saved as it is written. The deliverer will come out of Zion and he will turn ungodliness from Jacob for this is my covenant with them when I take away their sins. So that Friday night, the Abraham, Moses, David, and New Covenants. And then Saturday morning, we start with session one, the signs of Messiah Jesus return to Jerusalem. Then lunch, and everyone will be eating at local restaurants. And then session two, the days of Noah, God's grace, and the rapture. And the final uh, session, Three, the Watch Therefore message with Q&A, questions and answers, so you can really own and understand everything we've discussed and walk out of there knowing, having these keys to victory and not just survival through this generation, but victory in it, fruitful living in this prophetically charged generation. Of course, of course, November 7, we're going to have our Calvary Chapel Pearland meeting there, meeting at Heights Baptist Church, and um, it will be kind of a continuation and, and, and a finalization of the things we talked about at the conference. Don't worry if you can't make it. You're going to get so much Friday and Saturday. It's going to be very powerful and very helpful for you. Um, yet the icing on the cake or the cherry on the icing on the cake will be Sunday afternoon at 2 o'clock when Calvary Chapel has their church meeting at Heights Baptist Church. And, and, and so uh, know this, that you sign up for our newsletters if you haven't yet, and we'll be continually releasing information and giving updates and reminders about this very special conference. And now what I want to do is finish out the rest of the program talking right to you. Where are you? Where are you? are you? Are you not seeing and hearing and feeling the distinction of this time and how things are so quickly changing? You see, if you understand the things that we're going to talk about in this conference, instead of feeling like everything's falling apart, you'll understand according to the Lord's covenants and His prophetic plans and His prophetic word that everything really is coming together. And He has a way for us to think, speak, and live in this time. 
And, and, and so fear not, fear not. Yet it's so important to get your heart and mind and life right with the Lord today. Because there's one thing, there's one person you should fear, and that's God himself. You should fear the Lord. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And this is an awful time to walk in your own ways and not the Lord's ways. I'm going to have some programs where I'm going to be teaching about this. Yet right now, you can get your heart right with the Lord. You know, and, and there are people who say, well, you know, only God knows my heart. No, 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 we all know your heart. Everyone around you is what I mean, knows your heart. Because what's in your heart, the Lord says, comes out of your mouth. And, and, and so... How is your speech, how, what, what do you talk about? What do you think about? How are you living right now? And, and, and the Lord wants to make adjustments to that and make it so you can live fruitfully and confidently that the Lord has you right where you are and you can live every day with His agenda, with His agenda. And you can be very fruitful and help not only yourself, but many others all around you. That's why we're here, folks, until the Lord comes for us and takes us up to that place he's been preparing for us. The first thing you need to do is make sure you're saved. Make sure, well, I go to church. I, I said a prayer years ago, and, and so I gave my life to Jesus. Yes, but did you really give your life to Jesus? Are you walking with him? Was there a change in your heart? Did he give you the mind of Christ? And if not, maybe you need to get saved because without being forgiven by the Lord, as bad as it's going to get on this earth, eternity in a lake of fire, being tormented, yes, by the flames that the Lord warns of. That's not his plan for you. He wants to save you. He wants to forgive you. What do you need to do? Turn away from your sins today. Turn away from your sins and recognize that they're killing you. And they, they, they're the reason Jesus the Lord died on the cross. He paid for them. He lived a sinless life, paid for your sins. He died. He was buried in the third day. Hallelujah. He rose from the grave and he wants to forgive you today. What do you need to do? At least in your heart, begin to repent, begin to turn away from your sins and put your faith fully and all of your hope in our Savior Jesus and what he's done for you at the cross and in the resurrection, in his resurrection, and receive him as your Savior and Lord. And the Bible says, as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God, even those who believe in his name. Receive him as your Savior and Lord. Cry out to him, Lord Jesus, save me. I need to be forgiven for my sins. Please save me. I believe in you, Lord Jesus. You died to pay for my sins. You rose again. I'm giving my life to you today, and I'm going to follow you. Please help me, Lord. And he will even help you to repent further, not only in your heart and your mind, but in your life, in your actions, in your behavior. He will give you a new heart. He will give you a new mind. Oh, hallelujah. And you will begin to hate sin, your sin, and you'll, you'll begin to uh, feel uncomfortable with your ways. And that's a good thing because that means he's going to give you his ways and his mind. Now there's information at the bottom of your screen contact us. We want to send you some free literature to help you begin your new life in Christ Jesus. Yeah. And I want to say one more thing before I pray for everyone who's watching today. I want to ask you, would you prayerfully consider coming to this special conference, even if you live outside of the Houston area? One of the friends of our ministry has already contacted us, and that's, that's kind of what got me to thinking about this. One of, the thing, one of our uh, ministry friends has already called and said, I already have my hotel room reserved, and they're traveling in for the conference. Maybe the Lord would have you do the same thing. I'll, I'll tell you this much. It won't be time wasted. It will be time invested. And it's my heart's desire, and I believe what the Holy Spirit is doing with this conference that he so clearly put on my heart and, and has instructed me and led me to prepare and to schedule this conference is that it's going to be so important. It's going to be so important. It's going to be such an important we weekend to equip disciples of Messiah Jesus how to think, speak, and live and to really go for the Lord instead of wringing your hands in worry and fear about these days that we're in and that are coming. And so as the Lord leads, and, and when I'm praying for everyone in just a moment, I'm going to add that into the prayer that if the Lord uh, if he's calling you to come to this conference where his name, Messiah Jesus, will be lifted up and I believe it will glorify our Father in heaven and fill us with the Holy Spirit and prepare us to walk out of that weekend changed, changed and equipped by our great Savior, Messiah Yeshua, our Lord Jesus. Would you 
consider coming. Let's pray. Oh, Holy Father in heaven, in Messiah Jesus' name, I pray you would tremendously bless every viewer. And, and thank you that we've had this special holy time together, Father. Now, in Messiah Jesus' name, Father, I would ask, according to the things I just spoke of, that I believe you put on my heart, Lord, that if there's someone who's watching from outside of the Houston area that they would consider traveling in, would you please make a way for them in terms of their finances and their time and just lead them and direct them, Father, if it's your will for them to come to this special conference. And we'll be sure to give you all the glory and all the honor and all the praise. I pray, Father, in Messiah Jesus' name, if there's somebody watching who needs healing in their heart, in their mind, in their body, that you would touch them by your spirit now because King Yeshua, our Lord Jesus, you're still the great physician and your medical practice is still operational. So I pray you would touch each viewer right where they are today with your power and your grace and your love and your compassion and your mercy. We thank you and we praise you today in Jesus' name. Oh, Father in heaven, thank you in our great Savior, Jesus' name. Amen and amen. And, and so, folks, it really is on my heart, this conference. I, I, it really is. And, and I, I just want to, I don't mean to be going on and on, but I will say, as I was uh, in my uh, home here in the Galilee, uh, I believe the Lord really spoke to me clearly about this conference and said, this is something he wants me to do. And all the doors just began to open as I pursued it. So as the Lord leads, as the Lord leads, we'd love to see you in Texas, uh, there, here in this upcoming month. We'd love to see you in Texas and uh, we'll see what the Lord does. Yeah. Well, here's how we go out of the program. It's more important than ever to watch therefore and be ready because Messiah Jesus is coming for us any moment. Thank you for watching the program today. Watch Therefore is sponsored by the friends and partners of Watch Therefore Ministries. In future programs, we'll have many more Watch Therefore teachings from the Bible, worship, and exciting interviews with our believing partners in Israel and around the world. Please contact us at doveforisrael at gmail.com that's D-O-V-F-O-R-I-S-R-A-E-L at gmail.com. And if you would like to subscribe to our newsletter, you can fill out a contact form on the website watchtherefore.tv. We also have audio programs available on our website watchtherefore.tv. We are on social media since it is a great tool to share the gospel and communicate with one another. You can also find us there at watchtherefore.tv. Until next time, we're watching for King Jesus to return. Watch therefore and be ready. We know he came. The lamb who was slain, he'll come again. Our conquering king on that day. His sword will go forth to take back and restore what belongs.